Hey everyone, we're back with another Genos release. Here are the key features for 21.4 R1. Configure a DHCP relay agent on centrally routed and edge routed bridge overlays. Take advantage of IPv6 underlays for VXLAN overlay tunneling in EVPN VXLAN fabrics. Apply firewall filters on these QFX switches for all transit traffic. QFX 512048YM switches now support features such as port mirroring, storm control, and filter-based forwarding in EVPN VXLAN environments. Expand your EVPN VXLAN connectivity seamlessly with EVPN MPLS networks using inter-AS gateways without the need of logical tunnel interfaces. Use GeoIP feeds fetched from Policy Enforcer to prevent the shown MX devices from communicating with specific IP addresses. Distribute precise clock synchronization over a packet switch network using SyncE and PTP. We now support 64 IP addresses in the NAT pool and up to 63 characters for the name, rule, and rule set. Use UPF N9 uplink classifiers on the shown MX routers to manage traffic through PDU session anchors. You can use IFA 2.0 to monitor and analyze packets as they enter and exit the network. New key features on the security side include configuring a UTM policy for content filtering to determine the file type based on content instead of file extensions. Use enhanced flow support to improve the total throughput capability of a single session. Use these show commands to see more details about FPC major alarms on the JNP SPC3 services processing card. On the SRX 5400, you can now use the dual 2 plus 2 redundancy mode for high capacity, high line power entry modules. SRX 5800 supports the new high capacity second generation AC power supply module, which provides a maximum output power of 5100 watts. All right, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to head over to the Tech Library for more information about these key features and other release details.